Dr. It's a pleasure to have everyone, uh, to be able to talk to everyone. I am Dr. Lipscomb, Director of the Admissions Office at Delaware County Community College. And I just wanna make sure you all can see me. There we go. Um, and I just, I'm happy to talk a little bit about, um, about our institution and about some of the opportunities that we have uh, available here at Delaware County Community College, especially uh, for students that are interested in business. Uh, and that comes from someone uh, like myself who, is, uh, uh, have, who does have a business background. Uh, and where I really like to start is just thinking about the concept of community colleges. Uh, so not just for us, but for the the countless community colleges, the uh, excuse me, the hundreds of community colleges across the country, across the United States. Uh, so community colleges are typically two-year institutions, really um, uh, for students that are interested in starting their bachelor's degree, uh, and also for students who are transitioning into another uh, career field. Uh, and looking for an opportunity to complete prerequisites that they may need for uh, their bachelor's, pro bachelor's degree program or even an advanced degree program, master's degree or, or doctorate. We see a, a lot of students and we see students who are from the U.S. who participate, who take advantage of this, as well as students who are not from the U.S., students from all over the world who take advantage of uh, community colleges. And I think one of the, the biggies, uh, two of the biggies um, for, the, for, for this uh, is, well, one, it's just the affordability of it. Uh, we offer students an affordable option. I think the other piece is the transferability. We allow, we set it up so that students can transfer the credits that they take with us to another institution, and it allows them to complete in the same amount of time that they would have completed if they went directly for their bachelor's degree or advanced degree. I think the key is um, we save them funds. I think the uh, the the other pieces we still offer quality, regardless of the other uh, funds that we save students. Our quality is still the same. And again, these are things that we uh, that I'll highlight as I kind of move forward. And I'll certainly uh, make sure that I'm very considerate of time. Uh, so we'll, we'll keep this quick, and I'm happy to to answer any questions afterwards. Um, so one of the uh, I think one of the other pieces that I that I failed to mention that I think is uh, certainly big um, for for a number of community colleges, including ours, well, a lot of community colleges, um, they're, they work, they open, they work on an, an open access uh, model or an open enrollment model. And what that really means is, uh, typically, we, we're, we don't really uh, deny many students. Um, we really don't deny any students, period. Uh, we don't require TOEFL or IELTS, SAT or ACT. Instead, uh, we operate with the placement test. So students, so we provide support to students regardless of where they are. We just need to see exactly what that means for them. Where, uh, if they need some additional support in English and math. And that's something that you'll typically find at community colleges across the country. Uh, for our institution, again, it's a free placement test that they take. Students can apply uh, if you are applying um, and, you're, and you're coming here from overseas on an F-1 visa. Uh, typically, what that's going to require is that you'll provide us uh, one, show us that you've, uh, that you've completed high school. Also, sh uh, just show us uh, what, you, what it is that you're actually interested in. And, uh, and the other biggie is is just some that you can afford the cost of living. I think one of the key things that we have uh, that we want to keep in mind for students that, that come to our institution, we want you to be successful. We don't want you to come here and, uh, and find yourself not completing. We want to put you in the best position to succeed. So I'll talk a little bit about that um, as well, the cost, uh, because that's really it. From there, um, once a student is admitted into the college, then they'll take a placement test, they register for classes and, and move from there. But just some key things that I like to highlight. I also just like to highlight some of the resources that we have. But when I think about what I talked about earlier, um, just the, the transferability, um, and, and uh, before I even jump into that, I think it's it's really big to highlight the quality. Um, we wouldn't be able to, to set up these programs um, in which our courses, our credits from our courses transfer to other institutions if we didn't have college quality programs. I think when you're at our institution, um, when you're a student at our institution and countless uh, students uh, will attest, you have a number of faculty, staff members, just personnel in general who are there to support you. Um, and, and the support is pretty much unmatched. And I think that that's everything from uh, connecting with an advisor who will help you to, to pick the classes that you need uh, from, from day one uh, and ensure that you know, you're not just taking the class that you need to graduate, but that you're also taking classes that will transfer to the institution that you're interested in attending uh, when you go for your bachelor's degree. I think the, uh, the, the other piece outside of just the uh, having 
uh, just a number of faculty and personnel available, um, having faculty who are really committed to the classroom experience. Um, and again, it's just a philosophical difference. Uh, some schools, they uh, their faculty members focus on research. We love it. The scholarship is amazing. Uh, at our institution, something that we pride ourselves on, however, is a focus on the classroom experience. Our instructors are focused on pedagogy, how what they can do to improve the learning experiences for students. And that's big because ultimately you're here to learn and we wanna ensure that you do so. And that once you finish up with us, you're able to seamlessly transition either to a bachelor's degree program or an advanced degree program, or that we can transition you right out into the workforce. Um, and a part of that that we do uh, with that transferring piece is, well, one, we have students transferring to top tier universities throughout the country. And they, it's typically referred to as two plus two, where students come to us for two years and they finish a bachelor's degree over the course of another two years. However, if you already have a bachelor's degree, maybe you just need some prerequisite courses in order to complete, to start your advanced degree, you can also take those prerequisites with us. So you can take a few classes if a, if a college needs you to complete uh, calculus, uh, if a college needs you to complete uh, an economics course or, or something related. Um, if you're interested in STEM and you need a biology course, you can come to us, take these courses and then transfer to another institution. If you need some support with English, similarly, you can come to us and, and work on that with American English. Um, and and we're, we're happy to be of support there. And we see it a lot from for, for students from who are coming to us from numerous countries. I think the other piece uh, that, that, we, um, that I mentioned uh, with our transfer to top tier universities is that we have 50 partnerships. And all that really means is that we've worked with schools to ensure that the classes that you take with us will transfer. And on top of that, I think the, uh, to add icing to, on, on top of that cake, um, us and a number of other schools, we have these uh, agreements in which schools guarantee you admission into those institutions as long as you graduate from our college. At our particular institution, we have 25 such agreements. That includes agreements with Temple University, well-renowned for their business school, their Fox School of Business, uh, agreements with Drexel University, uh, well-renowned for their Laval uh, School of Business, as well as for their engineering and computer science programs. Uh, so uh, this is, again, just two of 25 institutions that we have such agreements with, but we have students who transfer to schools all around the world. In fact, we just had a student who transferred to Harvard University uh, from our institution. Uh, and that's not, that, that's not something that happens regularly, but for students who are interested in doing so, we're here to support them to ensure that they can. Uh, but for students that want to go elsewhere, from whether it's Arizona State or Boston University or Georgia Tech, we have students at all of those institutions, and we're happy to help you get there as well. The, I think the other piece is, again, we save you money, um, indicated, uh, illustrated by the, uh, by the slide here. Um, and what, we, what we're saving you is somewhere between eighteen dollars to $54,000 over the course of two years, and that's U.S. Uh, here, in the, uh, here at our institution, students who are taking, say, 10 classes, so full-time load of 15 credits each semester, they're going to pay about $14,000 for those courses, um, where the average, the average cost of institutions, of a four-year institution in, in the United States right now is about a little over $30,000, actually closer to 40. Um, so in that sticker price, there may be some opportunities for scholarships, but even without the scholarships, we typically beat out uh, most other schools uh, throughout the country. Uh, so that's just big, especially um, uh, especially if you are planning on going for an advanced degree and you're, you'll be in school for some time. Um, I think the other big benefit that I usually highlight for students uh, who are interested in pursuing a business degree or any other degree at our institution, the opportunity for OPT. And I think it's really big for business because I think business is usually one of the most popular uh, programs throughout the US. It's certainly the most popular uh, program at our institution, our business administration program. Lots of students who are interested in business. We want you to be able to separate yourself from the competition and there is plenty of it, not just throughout the US, but around the world. Um, one of the ways we do that, uh, well, if you come on a visa, you're eligible for OPT, optional practical training. What people don't know sometimes, however, is that if you go for a bachelor's degree, <clears throat> you go directly to a four-year institution, you stay there for four years, you graduate, you qualify for one year of optional practical training. Optional practical training allows you the chance to go out, work at a company, um, and that you can, it can be an internship, it can be paid, unpaid, wh whatever it is, you can work for a year after you graduate. And again, it's something that helps you to build, resume, build your resume, it gives you experience, really important, especially as you're trying to compete with other students. If you come to a community college first, however, not only do you get one year, you get two. 
because you get two, you get one year after you complete uh, your associate's degree with us, which is your first, those first two years of your, of your time in college. So you get one year because that's considered one level of education. And then you get a second year after you complete your bachelor's degree. So just something that we like to, to highlight there. And there's some other opportunities for you to also uh, gain some additional experience, curricular uh, practical training, CPT, uh, in which you can actually uh, participate in internships or work while you're in school, but things that you definitely wanna talk about, look into, great opportunities that I highly recommend students that are interested in business to, to take advantage of, because again, there's lots of competition. Um, so, and we, so we've highlighted that a bit. I think the other piece uh, that I highlight is just housing options. Uh, students do have the opportunity uh, in many cases, uh, something that I would recommend for you. Um, if you have family um, at a school, like in the US, consider a school nearby. It's a definitely way to save funds. And we see a lot of students do it. If that's not the case, if you don't have any family in the US, you don't have a family nearby school that you're interested in, well, for us, an option to consider is homestead. So I don't want to go into it, but we will actually connect you with a family who lives in the area. We vetted them, and for a price of four seventy-five uh, for you to stay, um, for you to be uh, just there, and for them to offer you shelter, they'll they'll take care of you. Um, for six seventy-five, they'll actually cover the cost. They'll actually cover meals, two meals a day, and transportation. Now, I just wanted to make sure everyone's clear on where we are. We're about, so if you are interested in Delaware County Community College, we're 30 minutes outside of Philadelphia. If you're not familiar with Philadelphia, it's where the Declaration of Independence uh, was signed. Uh, so that's where the US was founded. We're also two hours south of New York City. So a bus ride, train ride, car ride to New York, and two and a half hours from the capital of the United States, Washington, DC. Uh, we're also about an hour from the beach. That's very important. Can't I'd be remiss if I didn't mention it. And the rest is really up to you. Whether you're interested in our business administration program, if you're interested uh, in our accounting program, uh, if you're interested in something else in which you would go and pursue a bachelor's or advanced degree, we are happy to have you. But it's really just a pleasure to, to be able to, to, to talk to you about our, our college and about the community college as an option for you to start your career path in business. And with that, 